Hi guys, it's Christy and welcome to the Pop-Up Couch Facebook. How are you today? How are you feeling? I know it's Thursday. I, I missed you guys yesterday, but I wanted to just pop on here real quick. A couple things I want to talk about. Um, feel free to just, just with any comments or anything like that, just sign on. Hi Pablo, nice to see you buddy. Um, go ahead and just say any comments or anything that's bothering you or something on your mind. You go ahead and throw it in there in the comments section. But it, let's get started. I only have a few minutes because I am on my way to the dentist. But let's talk about just a few things. Are you ready? I'm ready. Hi, Chris Ann. How are you, girl? Nice to see you. I wanted to let you guys know, if you didn't know this already, and I just had this epiphany this morning, okay, that I study happiness for a living. That's what I do, guys. I have many, many hats that I wear, many jobs, many roles, but the truth is, I do study happiness for a living. <clears throat> so, that's where I'm at. Came to that epiphany this morning. And I will continue to study happiness for a living and do everything I can to help others find happiness in every moment of the day. Okay? That's my goal. That's my end game. All right. So with that, I got another, another topic for you. Here it comes. It takes no guts to be a pessimist. Okay? It takes zero courage to be a pessimist. Zero. It's easy to be a pessimist. Totally easy to do that. Uh, looking for what's wrong with everything is very, very easy to do. Thank you, Pablo. I try to be so happy, honey. I work at it every day, and I'm always happy to see you. But back to being a pessimist, okay? It's like, if you're gonna take two roads, and one's really short and easy, and one's really long and hard, the pessimistic road is always so easy and short. So a lot of you are going down that road because it's like, oh, I might as well. I mean, everyone else is going down this way. No, guys, take the high road, all right? take the high road. Look at things optimistically. You don't always have to be, you know, looking at it from such a real perspective. All right. Be an optimist once in a while. Try it out. It's fun. Try it on for size. Seriously. Uh, it, it feels so good to be an optimist. It feels so good to think that things could always work out, to always hold hope in your heart, to always feel like there's a chance that this is going to work and I'm going to make this work. I am going to get to work on time today. My kids are going to be happy. I'm going to be happy. I can pay my rent today. I can pay my mortgage. I feel healthy. I don't have any illnesses. These are all things to be positive about and optimistic, optimistic about your future. Future, all right I don't care if you're 27 or 87 you still have time to do things in this world that you want to do so don't give up hope all right be optimistic about the future and and whatever you have make the best of it I don't care if you're living in a dirt hut with no electricity make the best of it okay you can change who you are your feelings about your situation you don't have to carry around all this negativity you can choose to be an optimist it's a choice that just like happiness is a choice being optimistic is also a choice so try it on guys it feels amazing um i want to i want to uh, let me just segue into this thing i have for you here it is beauty tip girls thanks chrisanne here's a beauty tip out there are you ready it's not the shoes hi marilyn it's how she walks in the shoes you hear that? I'm going to repeat that, ladies. This is for you girls. It's not the shoes that you buy or that you're wearing. It's how you walk in them. That's so beautiful. It's sexy. It's attractive. It's beautiful. I don't care if you spent $4,000 on a pair of heels. If you're not walking confidently in those heels, you might as well be at pay less buying $20 shoes. Again, doesn't matter how much you spend on anything. It's how you present yourself in it. How you feel when you put it on. All right. I saw a girl the other day walking in a pair of heels. I couldn't take my eyes off this girl. All right. She was working these heels. She was working it and she looked amazing because she felt good. So I just want to leave that with you guys. Think about that, ladies. Think about it. When you put on the shoes, when you put on the dress, when you put on the jeans or whatever it is you're putting on, do it. Own it. All right. Be confident. Say, listen, I'm wearing these hoops and I don't care who likes them. These are my favorite earrings, and I am going to rock these earrings. By the way, these are my favorite earrings. <laughs> okay. If others' opinions of you is more important than your own opinion of yourself, that's what's wrong with your life. Very simple. Easy, simple advice, guys. Stop worrying about everyone else's opinion, because 
because everybody has an opinion, especially when it comes to other people's lives. It's so funny that they won't reflect on their own life, but they're always so happy and excited to give you opinions about your life and what you're doing wrong or what you could be doing better. No. Everybody's entitled to their opinion, yes. Or do you have to accept their opinion as truth? No, you can decide not to accept it as the truth because your truth is just what I said. It's your truth. So sure, let the opinions fly. I get people throw me opinions all day long. I don't care about their opinions. I mean, I'm pleasant to them and I'm, you know, and I'll just say, well, you know, thank you for that. But honestly, I'm doing like an eye roll, like whatever. <laughs> it means nothing to me what you think because I know what I think and I know who I am. Okay. Uh, let's talk about a snake bite, guys. I'm sorry, I dropped my cards. Hold on. Okay. Um, snake bite. You never die from a snake bite. What you die from is the venom that pours through your veins after a, a poisonous snake bites you. This is a metaphor, okay, but it's true. So th here's the thing. Stop holding on to hate. Stop holding on to jealousy. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Anger, hate, jealousy. These things are not getting you anywhere. These are the venom running through your veins, okay? That's holding you back from happiness, love, joy, passion. All the things that you seek in this world, in this life. So stop letting it pour through you. Decide today I'm going to let it go. I'm just going to let it go. I'm not carrying this with me anymore. It's just holding me back. It's hurting me inside. It is. You can't hide it, guys. You can put a full face of makeup on, but if inside you're feeling anger, hurt, pain, frustration, neglect, all these things, I don't care how much makeup you put on. It's the truth. Hi, girl. Thank you so much. You're the best mom, by the way, Christiane. You're the best mom of anyone I know. And I know a lot of moms. You're amazing. Seriously. So amazing with your kids. And that's beautiful. And that is one of the hardest jobs in this whole world. Actually, that is the hardest job. I can tell you that. I've had many jobs. Hundreds of jobs. Being a mom is the hardest job. Especially being a patient mom. Being a present mom. Being a mom that shows up for their kids every day. That loves them. That smiles. That, you know, that just bites their tongue when they want to say something maybe not so nice. That's what's, that's the beauty, all right? That's, that's love and you're awesome. And, and on that, let's segue into one more thing before I go, guys. To please tell your kids today how lucky you are to have them in your life. I'm gonna say that again, because I know this is new for some of you to hear. Tell your kids how lucky you are to have them in your life. What a gift they are to you and your life and your soul. And if you don't have kids, that's okay. Tell the closest person in your life today. Pick up the phone. I don't care if you text them. I don't care if you leave a voicemail for them. Tell them in person even better. But tell that one person that's closest to you today, when I say goodbye to you guys on this video, do it. Thank you for being in my life. I am so lucky to have you in my life. And I love you. All right? Hope that helps you guys today. I love you so much. You know how passionate I am about all these things. I get like get overwhelmed sometimes. <laughs> um, I love you so much, seriously. And let me know if you ever need anything. I'll be thinking about you. And I hope you have a blessed, beautiful, blissful day. And I will definitely check back with you tomorrow. Okay? Love you guys. Bye.